Hello all, in this video we're going to walk you through what you will see and what participants in your video conference will see. Right now I have the lock settings open to show you what are the rights that a user has when they come into your conference. I'm going to click apply. So now what you're seeing is that I have a student who has joined my conference, but they are locked. They are not able to share their audio. They're also not able to share any other content. So for example, they cannot private chat with each other. They can use the public chat to post a message. Now, there are some additional settings that I can change as I am working with my students. Let's say I am at a point in the conference where I don't want them to be able to use the public chat anymore. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the gear here by Manage Users. I'm going to go to Lock Viewers. And underneath Send Public Chat Message, I'm going to turn that to Lock and click Apply. With that now applied, what happens is that the students are no longer able to post in the public chat. A student can still, however, send a private chat message to me as the teacher. As a teacher, I'm the only person that they can private chat to. But in the public chat, that is still locked for them on their end, and they're not able to send any messages. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to unlock back the public chat, and I'm going to unlock sharing a microphone. If your students joined your conference in audio only mode, they will need to click the headphones at the bottom of the screen to leave the audio conference and then click the phone to join back. They will now see the choice to join with their microphone. For students, they now have the ability to join audio and share their audio. The student, however, will have to click the icon on the bottom of their screen, and now they'll get an option to join with their audio enabled. So I'm looking over on the left-hand side of my screen, and I see that their icons have changed from headsets to now microphones. This shows me that their microphones are now on. This is a really great way to allow your students to interact with you as you're doing your lesson, but you may get to the point where you need to mute everyone uh, without any interruptions. So to take that step, there are two things that you want to do. So first, click on the gear to show all users again. Now, there are two things that you'd want to do after you click on the gear. Number one, you do have an option here to mute all users except the presenter, which is you. So you can click that button to mute all users except the presenter, and you'll see that all users have been muted. For the end user, however, or for your students, they will be able to unmute themselves if they choose. So you oh, see yes. that John has chosen to unmute himself, and so has Marcy. So here's the additional step that you can take. The first thing you want to do is you want to go down to Lock Viewers. And once you go down to Lock Viewers, you want to lock the ability for users to share their microphone. Click Apply. Then, with users locked with their ability to share a microphone, they will not be able to unmute themselves. You can then go back and you can go back to lock viewers and turn back on the ability of folks to share their microphone. With that turned back on, now they will see the microphone icon back and enabled. As part of your conference, you may have folks who are joining either via the web or using a phone line. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to say lock viewers and I'm going to lock the microphone so now you'll see that all users who have joined via the web are locked. I've also shared the call-in number. With the call-in number shared, you'll notice that folks who are calling into the conference still come in unlocked. To make sure that folks who are coming into the conference come in unlocked, the step you want to take is to go to Manage Users and to also select 
mute all users except presenter. So with mute all users except presenter selected and lock users selected, whether someone joins your conference from a phone line or they're joining from the web, their microphone will be muted when they join. As you are going through your video conference with your students, pay close attention to the symbol that is showing in the lower right hand corner of their name or of their image or even of the phone symbol if they're calling in on the phone. That symbol will be a quick way that you can tell if they, for example, have access to microphone, if they have access to microphone but they're muted, or if you see just a headphone symbol to let you know that they don't have access to microphone at all and they've joined in listen-only mode. These icons are a really quick way for you to gauge what are the rights that each student that is part of your class may have.